blind date with Steve Marriott. Steve chalked up another first during his blind date session, the first time the reviewer has been without trousers. Steve's were on the floor being painted by Plonk Lane throughout the date. Sounds like the loving spoonful. Who is it? The Doors? Everybody has been raving about their albums but I must have missed something because I didn't like the album I heard. This is really nice though. It's a record you'd have to hear a lot and let it grow on you. It's a beautiful production. I've got this on the album. Anyone with a bit of soul could sing with this band and sound great. The band is so good. Like a big powerful machine that never stops. This is one of the best tracks on the album. It's great. These people can't do any wrong as far as I'm concerned. People like Booker T and the MGs started me off, and they have improved over the years I've been digging them. I really liked Heroes and Villains and thought it should have been number one. Isn't it nice? What a beautiful bass sound. It sounds like the Beach Boys even though there are only two of them. It's a good song. It's the sort of record that you need to listen to a lot but you like it the first time, which isn't a bad way round. And it's simpler than Heroes and Villains, which was like a lesson in how to produce records. Town clock in the market square. It's Procol Harum. It's nice because they have set a groove for the stuff they're going to play. It's on the same sort of scene as their first one. It's nice that they're setting a pattern for themselves. Actually, on first hearing, I like it better than a whiter shade of pale. I hope they are as lucky with this one. Here comes lightning down the street. Nancy Sinatra. I don't like her, and she probably doesn't like me either. What have I done to the melody maker? Every time I do blind date I get a Nancy Sinatra record. Never mind. The Association. I didn't like Windy but this is nice. I'd like to see them. It's one of those things you like without it brainwashing you. You can just have it going in the background and soak it all in. Whoever it is, good luck to them. It's good. Really nice. It's probably American but it has a very English sound. It reminds me of Unit 4 plus 2, the sort of thing they would do. It's a beautiful record and I'd love to see them doing it. It's got everything for a visual number. The voice is a little bit like Gary Brooker of Procol Harum. Who is it? Amen Corner. It's a different sort of cliché from the last one, which was the 12-bar blues cliché. Really, I hope it goes. It's got a nice big sound. Things that are good can be misunderstood and mistaken. I've got no idea who it is but it's too much beautiful and really nice. I'll go out and buy that. The song is great and so is the performance. Void. Nothing. I don't know who it is, unless it's Anita Harris. Not my scene at all, but great for Anita. 